now let's look at data replication okay data replication we have already seen what this is i'm going to tell you what are the different types available over here the first is fully replicated or full data replication just write it as fully replicated system here we have every data element is replicated at some or the other site element i guess i'm making that spelling wrong this e right element every data element is replicated at some or other site okay so this is a fully replicated scheme however the problem over here is there is lot of overhead in making the changes consistent at all the other sites making these changes consistent at other sites okay so let's suppose i have site 1 okay and i have site 2 okay if everything that is there in site 1 is also replicated at site 2 then whenever i am going to make any change in site 1 i have to make that change in site 2 as well similarly if i have more sites like this site 3 if site 1 is replicated to both site 2 and site 3 then i have to make every change at site 1 also at site 2 and site 3 so just see how much work i have to do okay so it is going to cost me some extra amount of time and extra amount of resources okay the next type of replication is no replication okay so no replication is obviously no replication we do not have a copy of the database element anywhere else the problem over here is you do not gain any reliability or availability points okay the concept of replication is to increase your reliability or availability okay so if you are not doing that then obviously if you are not replicating then you are not enhancing your reliability or availability so i would just write it as no gain in reliability or availability and the third type is partial replication obviously here not entire database is replicated but some elements are replicated okay some elements are replicated so it is a mix of above two schemes the overhead is not going to be that high as in a fully replicated system because only some elements are replicated and obviously there would be some gain in reliability and availability for the elements which are replicated okay so that was about my data replication now let us look at query processing in distributed database systems okay i'll just write down over here query processing in distributed databases okay so let's suppose i have my employee table okay it has got my id it has got my name it has got my department id okay 